Okay, getting a late start today, Jack? Jack? Yeah, Jack Nicholson. You can't handle the truth. I mean, is what you're doing, right? Who? Okay, you and I are gonna have to have a movie night ASAP. If you're not pretending to be Jack Nicholson, then what's with the shades? It's sunny out. Yeah, but not in. Ouch. Ooh, this looks pretty bad, does it hurt? Only when you touch it. Sorry, sorry. I'm gonna go get you some ice and some aspirin. Please, please don't, I'm okay. You got punched in the face. I did not. It was stupid, okay? I I came downstairs last uh -huh. night to get something to eat, and I still don't really know my way around here, so... <laughs> no, no, I, I know this one, and you walked into a door. Come on, Rafe, I've seen my fair share of black eyes, and trust me, I've used that excuse before. Who punched you? Look, it's not worth getting into, okay? You are my responsibility, and I've got to make sure stuff like this doesn't happen to you. Oh. Sit down. Thank you, seriously. Hey, but this, it's on me. It was my fault. Does this have anything to do with what you told me the other night about Molly? About you kissing her? Molly did not deck me. Trust me, I don't think my sister could hit a ball off a tee, much less clock you. But I do think her jealous boyfriend could. Did TJ do this to you? Come on, Rafe. Was it TJ that hit you? Look, I have it under control, okay? I'm going to talk to TJ. Excellent. Right While you're talking to TJ, I will be talking to Sean. No. What do you please, mean, no? You can't. You can't. You'll just make things worse by tattling on TJ. You had to defend yourself the whole time you were in a group home. The last thing I want is for you to have to defend yourself every time you walk in a door it's and TJ all is there. good, okay? I promise. I'm just going to clear the air. But, Rafe, I don't think it's a good idea. Thank God, Sam. You're here. I need you. Uh, that sounds really important. I'll see you later, okay? And don't worry. In case you didn't just realize I was in the middle of some domestic drama. Morgan's missing. I need your help. No. Morgan's been missing for days, and Anna won't help find him. I mean, her granddaughter wanders off to feed a duck, and the whole town mobilizes. But when you have the last name Corinthos, nobody okay, okay, wants okay, to listen, help listen, you. Listen, I get that you're scared and fear easily turns into anger, but I don't think Anna has any jurisdiction over I need Nashville. To find Morgan, okay? Look, I will hire you to help I, me. You want to hire yes. me as a PI? Yes. Smiley's out of town, and, and I need you, okay? Will you, will you do it? I'll pay you whatever no, you want. No, you don't have to pay me. I'm, if Jason were here, he would He'd be my first call. Morgan is, he's missing and he's in trouble, okay? And, and you can relate to that. Yes, of course, you know I will can. Will you help me? Of course Please. I will help you. Start from the beginning and tell me everything you know. Sonny went down to Nashville to see what he could find out on Morgan's campus, okay? He interrogated Morgan's roommate. The kid didn't know much except that Morgan had been in some kind of correspondence with this girl on a gambling site. So we hired a hacker to break into the site and download all Morgan's chats. Jerome around the world, does this, does this name mean anything no. to you? I mean, well, they've got to know each other pretty well. If, if they've got nicknames, she's calling him Captain. It, Morgan has never said anything about having a girlfriend? Not a word. No, but I mean, why should he? Right? I mean, he's been away from his family so much, he probably feels like, you know, we abandoned him. Uh, it is not uncommon for kids that are in college. Come on, Sam, you know what I mean. Oh. I sent Morgan away to shield him from Sonny's business. I enrolled him as Morgan Benson to keep him safe. It's like after everything I went through with, with Michael, you know? Everything Michael had to pay, because of Sonny's life and Sonny's business, I just wanted to keep Morgan safe. And look, Morgan gets tangled up in Sonny's world all by himself. So. We're gonna untangle him. Why don't you punch his number in the phone, please? Morgan's. Well, good luck. I mean, his whole family has been trying to talk to him and he hasn't responded. No, good thing I'm not family. I'm Jerome around the world. Sonny says something like this was bound to happen to Morgan. What, the gambling debts or the disappearing? All of it. He has this theory, you know, that Morgan has half my DNA and half his, so, you know, it's bound to be trouble. No, you and Sonny aren't the easiest. I know this is terrible to say, but I wish it were Michael. I mean, don't get me wrong, if, if Michael were missing, I would be terrified, I'd be frantic. But you know, Michael's strong. And he's not perfect, he makes mistakes, but, but he knows how to deal with problems and he faces them straight on. 
He doesn't dig himself deeper. And Morgan, you know, he's just, he's reckless. Well, I, I think a lot of kids his age are. But Morgan is the son of a major crime figure, which makes him a target. I don't think um, he's going to believe that you're his friend. Just give it a minute. Sam, what if Morgan is with this Jerome around the world? He's going to know that your text is a fake. Which means we are no worse off than where we were five minutes ago. There's no harm in trying to make contact, Carly. Oh. Is it Morgan? Yes. <laughs> it says what happened to your phone. See, I told you, we got our foot in the door. Now we just have to kick it in a little further. Lost it, got a new one. Are you free to meet? Need to talk? M Michael, you still there? Yeah, what's going on? Nothing, I just... I had to send a message. Um, where were we? You're about to tell me where you are. Can't talk on the phone with my bro. His bro? He's talking to Michael? Do you know where Michael is? He's at my house. Let's go. 